This problem doesn't even look like any fun, but you know what? Just for you, I'll do it. So you have 8 plus square root of negative 18 minus 4 plus 3 uh, times the square root of 2 times i. And that's times i, not square root of 2i. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, when solving, um, or sorry, when adding and subtracting complex numbers, the first thing we need to do is have them in common terms. But actually, even before I do that, I want to make sure when I'm subtracting, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these parentheses. And to do that, I'm going to make sure I distribute that negative sign, right? Because when this says this subtract from this, you're subtracting both of these terms. You're not just subtracting the 4. You're also subtracting um, your 3 times square root of 2 times i. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as 8 plus square root of negative 18 minus 4 minus 3 square root of 2 times i. Now the next thing is we need to combine like terms, right? I know I have my numbers. Those are like terms. But I have a square root of negative 18 and a negative 3 times square root of 2i. Well, I can't add a square root of a negative 18 and a square root of 2 because they're not like terms. So what I'm going to do is I am going to rewrite the square root of negative 18 as a complex number. So I have square root of negative 18. First thing we need to do is get rid of the negative, right? You can't have a negative square root of a negative number. So we can rewrite that as the square root of 18. Or, I'm sorry, let's write it like this. The square root times the square root of negative 1. Right? Square root of negative 1 we write as i. Then I need to simplify my radical. So I can break up 18 again into uh, square root of 9 times the square root of 2 times i. Square root of 9 is 3, radical 2i. Follow me? Good. So now what I can do is I can combine my like terms. So I have 8 minus 4 plus negative 18i is now set up to 3 plus square root of 2i minus 3 square root of 2i. Well, those are going to cancel out, and I'm just left with 8 minus 4, which is 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's my simplified version. Please do remember that all complex numbers can be written in the form of a plus bi, where in this problem, b was 3 times square root of 2. However, in this problem, when combining my uh, complex numbers, they were eliminated, and I'm just left with the real number 4. There you go. Hope you enjoyed.